morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome along to the vlog on a bright and sunny Monday morning. It isn't. It's freaking miserable. So today, we've got the pad out. That can only mean one thing. We've got another project on the go. Today's project is going to be chicken feeder a la trough style auto feeding. Uh, let's have a look. Okay, so we're going to have a little trough like that. And this is going to go across to a hopper. And this hopper is going to go outside of the chicken pen. So this will be straight up, bolted to the fence of the chicken pen. The back wall is going to go up and outside like whit. Like that, you see. And then we're going to have a little section in here where the food can come down the hopper through a slit which is about half an inch wide maybe 12 centimeters, 12 mil and obviously the food can come around said corner there let's just zoom in a little bit so you can see so you fill this up with grain it's got a lid on it as well like that maybe a sloped lid actually but we'll do that in production not design phase so you put a bag of layers pellets because this is for chicken food into the hopper and it should hold a full bag and then over time the chicken feed works its way down around this bar and chickens can come and eat all the food out of there we make this in such a way so that we could perhaps put a little rain shelter on it you know just to stop rainwater hitting the food or chickens standing on the food and fouling in there that's definitely doable little roof on the top like I said there and then on the other side so if we're looking at it from the back in the middle we're going to put a little insert of plexiglass polycarbonate of some type so whilst this will all be timber you'll be able to see the level of the chicken food on the inside from the outside in order for us to tell if we need to add some more food or not simple as that so I've done a few calculations I've got my phone at the side of me with a couple of websites on there so I worked out a sack of malt which is bigger than a sack of layers pellets but we'll run on first principles a sack of malt let's say the bag is let's say it's a round bag and it's 600 millimeters high and the radius here is 150 mil or the diameter is diameter equals 300 plugging that into a volume of a cylinder calculator gives us 0 0.042 meters cubed so we can take that volume now and we can figure out how big do we want the wedge because essentially this is a wedge how big do we want the wedge to be to hold that volume of chicken food so by just doing some simple calculations I know that the width of the bars on my chicken pen between one upright and the other are 850 mil so let's say our width of our wedge which is from here to here is 850 that gives us plenty of room to get lots of heads of chickens in there eating as well and then the depth well I worked out that this little piece of timber here is actually good enough for the depth of the base of the tray this is about 75 mil then we're going to have about 40 mils worth of head space and then a gap and then some plywood taking up the rest of the bottom of the wedge but for calculating the volume of the wedge will treat this as running down to being a closed point yeah like that 
upside down, of course. So if we've got 850 wide, we've got zero there, we need to know the square base of our wedge, which we do. That, that measurement is also 850. And then if we go along to how deep we want this to be, from here to here, well I've plugged in 200, I was just seeing what works, and 200 actually kind of works. And then the total height, we're going to go for a simple height I think of 700mm, and plugging that into the calculator, okay, so we've got base width A, base width B, and then total height gives us a volume of roughly 0 0.0595 meters cubed. That means that we've got headspace, so there'll be room to add another bag if there's still some of the previous bag in the tank, hopefully. And of course, all these dimensions are relatively small so the top of the wedge only being 200 mil wide or 8 inches wide means it isn't going to protrude massively out the front of the pen and we aren't going to need a lot of space for the lid etc. Might even keep it on the inside of the pen. We'll see where it fits but I'm going to build it uh, to this spec here and hopefully we'll be able to just squeeze this in at the side of the nest box that I've got on the chicken pen as it stands. It might be a little bit tight thinking about it. Anyway, we'll see, we'll see. We may have to move it to a different location, I don't know. Um, there's room on the pen. So I'm going to set about building this and I might make it so that the base is removable or retiltable so I could either tilt it in or out of the pen meaning that the access side of the food trough would potentially be underneath the wedge shape there. Like we kind of swap that round. If I can do it, if I can design it like that, that will mitigate the requirement for a rain shield because that is what this wedge shape is going to kind of do for us anyway. It's also going to be on the inside of the pen. And also uh, if I can't fit it on the outside of the pen, which, I, which is where I want it originally, because then I can fill up the food without going into the chicken pen and standing in the, the mud, if you like. But if I can't, then being able to flip it round and having to go in the pen to fill it up will do that, and that means that where the nest box is at the side of the chicken pen, which you'll see on the install, hopefully that will mean we miss... Uh, the nest box and but if not we can flip it round and have it on the inside you get me drift anyway I'm going to set about building this bad boy and uh, well I've got some plywood here which we're resting on I've, I've also got some off cuts of wood and uh, some screws and nails and a table saw and everything we need really to put this project together so let's cue some corny music and do some chopping.
that's the build complete pretty much. I did put a bevel on this edge underneath here of about 45 degrees just to allow a little bit more of a gap on the inside if you can see along there you probably can't see it but it's just like a finger's width I can kind of wiggle my finger in there that should be enough for the grain or pellets to drop through the back section of course has the side glass look, uh, window on it and I'm going to hit it all up with the same red paint that I've painted the chicken coop in and then I'm going to put some felt on the roof section here and maybe some varnish on the feed tray just to waterproof it up a little bit I might even drill a few holes in the bottom as well for drainage just in case it hits up with you know a deluge of water one day and gets uh, gets a little bit wet but that's pretty much it so let's transport this bad boy back to the house some hay bales Reggie so we've been up to uh, Richards which is the guy who collects our grain when we're brewing and I catched some bales of hay off him so we can chuck them into the chicken pen the lights fading so I'm going to make this brief uh, yeah pull four of these out for me freebies of course well not really because obviously he gets the grain doesn't he but uh, yeah I'm just going to put these in here just like that and then there'll be somewhere for the chickens to climb about on stand on whatever else gives them a little bit of a third dimension in the pen um, the feeder is installed we just need to get some um, some food for it I've given it a paint it fits where I wanted it to fit although we are gonna have to go inside to fill it up but you can see the filling bit and then just before we totally run out of light around here for the chicken nipples they've got water in I've tested them you see the water levels here at the minute put a little sight glass on there so we can tell when it needs filling up or not I did notice though because of the height difference about here it stops flowing across to the drinker so we'll just put a mark on there make sure we know that's minimum level but shouldn't be a problem right I'm going to pull the rest of this hay up into the chicken pen I'm going to save one of them I think for bedding when I put it into uh, the nest boxes and the others can just be sat as well, ornamental I guess right that's it I'm going to wrap this one up folks hope you liked it and I'll see you on the next one just a quick addendum we decided to put the girls in tonight it's always best to rehouse them uh, in the evening and let them spend the night in their new surroundings probably can't see her there's one of the girls one of them's up there on the roofs anyway I'm gonna leave them locked up in here for the night and then we'll come back we're just loving all the commotion aren't you pal we'll come back tomorrow and let them out in the morning that will be one of the first jobs that we do won't it Reg and I need to go and get them some food but other than that as I said a minute ago there they are new home for the chickens we'll see you on tomorrow's vlog cheers oh the full moon tonight <laughs>